Kia ora all, welcome to Science with Dan. Today we're going to be having a go at making a water cycle in a jar. Now the water cycle in a jar represents parts of the real world water cycle. Now I'll just quickly explain a simplified version of the water cycle. Um, to start off with, the sun hits the ocean, causing the surface water of the ocean to evaporate, forming water vapour. Now this water vapour is warmer than the air around it, so it rises up into the sky forming clouds um, and as these clouds get bigger and bigger and bigger um, become oversaturated the water then condenses and falls as precipitation down to the ground where it uses streams or rivers to rejoin a large body of water such as a lake or an ocean okay we're going to need a few things we need a jar a jug of hot water, this is just recently boiled, some ice cubes, and I need a small plate. Now I'm going to start off by pouring the hot water into the jar. This hot water actually represents our seawater or ocean water. Now I pop the plate over the top of the jar. Now this plate is going to represent the sky so really high up in the sky where it's quite cold to make it cold what we're going to do is add some ice cubes to the top of the plate which should cool it down quite a bit and then we just sit and watch and we wait to see what happens if you're watching very carefully you'll start to see droplets condensing on the glass and when these droplets get big enough like the clouds when the clouds get big enough they start to fall down and rejoin the main body of water at the bottom and this represents the precipitation, or in other words, the rain. To make your water cycle look more dramatic, add some clouds up the top and some waves and mountains down the bottom. Okay, I hope you all managed to have a go at that, that experiment at home. Um, I've got one quick question though. The seawater is, as we all know, salty, um, and when it evaporates, it forms clouds, and then that ends up raining filling up our rivers. Now, I don't know if you've ever drank water out of one of our rivers, but you may notice that they're not salty. So, what happens there? I wonder if anyone can figure that one out. Cool. See you around. Hope you are staying safe.